The interesting twist in the story came when an, an organization outside Federal Avionics or Military Sensors, in this case ExxonMobil, heard about what was going on with the FACE Consortium. They understood the business problem that was trying to be solved and very quickly identified it as a very similar problem to the one that they have. In the oil and gas world, a very similar thing happens in that uh, typically a system is developed by one of a small number of major suppliers um, uh, with maintenance obligations going on for 25, 30 years in some cases, with the consequence that uh, customers are tied into that vendor and that system for a very long period of time. One of the key drivers in the oil and gas world was that their systems are currently reaching an end-of-life situation in the next five to ten years and they don't want the next generation of systems to be done exactly the same way as they have before. So they want essentially for oil and gas what the uh, gov US government wanted for federal avionics and that is an open architecture, open systems based approach to the new systems. They came to us and asked if we could help them create a industry grouping around this to tackle it not just for ExxonMobil but to tackle it for the oil and gas industry as a whole. So we checked with other oil and gas operators that they had a similar problem and of course they did. What we found in the open group over the years is there's very rarely a unique problem that somebody has there, more often than not shared. So given that we then had a critical mass of oil and gas operators, we started having some open days to industry days to describe what it was that we were we were planning on doing and gauging the level of interest and that's when it got really interesting because at that point we realized this wasn't actually just an oil and gas situation this was a multi-industry problem basically any industry that uses large-scale process automation systems has the same problem so uh, utilities industry um, pharmaceutical, petrochemical, as well as oil and gas and pulp and paper, for example, food and beverage is another example. They all have the same problem and very quickly we found that organizations from those uh, industries were joining to create a common approach to process automation systems in the first place. The benefits are considerable for the customers and also for the vendors because you get situations for example, where the vendors uh, find it difficult to fulfill 25 to 30 year maintenance obligations, the technology gets old, they even struggle with parts sometimes. What the Open Process Automation Forum, which is what this group turned into uh, inside the Open Group, what they are working on is, like the previous examples, both a technical standard and a business guidance and uh, business case documents for uh, helping the uptake and accelerating the uptake of the standard in practice. They have published uh, an initial standard up down through certain levels, they're working to evolve that standard and now they're working on the certification programme.